I don't because there's an enemy here. What about this play? Crush Nitro Kart. Looks like heading towards near the end of um, the game. <clears throat> he lied. <laughs> but first, we've got a little um, crystal hunt challenge, which uh, is called Magnetic Mayhem. I think. Let's see. Yeah, it is. Um, it's uh, apparently set underneath Electronic um, Electron Avenue, which is pretty cool. Now, um, I played this one quite a bit on battle mode. Uh, it it wasn't really like one of my favorites, but it was kind of just like cool to just drive around in. Because the area is a bit big for um, playing with just two people, because I only really played to two people. Um, uh, the, as a, like, um, a co little collector form with the crystals, I think this track works really well. This is one of those tracks where I saw them think about the crystal challenge before making like the battle arena. Like, the first one fits well for both the crystal challenge and battle arena. The second one fit well for a battle arena, but was a tiny bit too big. Um, the third one I like as an obstacle course for a battle arena. And then this one I see more as a crystal hunt challenge. Uh, um, overall, they're not, they're not like um, bad or anything. They're just... I was about to say they're just there, but you know, I can't really say that because I actually quite like a lot of these. <laughs> Now, I don't like how they hide crystals in their little sections there. Um, there wasn't one in that one, but you saw before that there was one in another section near there. Um, yeah, th this one actually takes um, note of the anti-gravity gimmick, and we're using the anti-gravity um, uh, for this track. I believe it's for the whole thing. I will find out in a second. So I wasn't paying much attention. <laughs> no, okay, we, we go on... Um, okay, whenever you go on to those, like, um... Metropolis um, zone flooring? I don't, I don't know. It, it, it kind of reminds me of Metropolis from Sonic Heroes. Um, the blue floor, so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Overall, there isn't really much to say. I'm kind of like reaching near the end of the, um, the game, really. Well, he lies because there's like another half of the game to go because there's like time relics and. CNK tokens, but CNT CNK tokens are going to take one part because I'm editing that together the same way I did in Crash New Racing. Crash Nitro Kart, uh, this is Crash Nitro Kart. Uh, Time Relics, however, uh, I'm hoping to have a co commentator for that. So, yeah, we'll see. Either way, we done. We unlocked Terra Dome for this. Uh, some of these later levels you actually unlock um, the track that you're playing in. Uh, Wait, no, you... You unlocked stuff. That, no, the level we weren't playing in wasn't Terra Dome, was it? So I wasn't really looking this up. I should have really done that, shouldn't I? But there's not much for me to say, so dragging on this commentary is kind of fine, I guess. No, it's not, John. How could you do this? Sorry, did you just say John? I mean Amigo. Uh, um... Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking on Terra. I typed in Terra Dome and it didn't come up with anything. A gym cup is a series of races where you're awarded points for each race. If you have the most points at the end of the cup, you will win a gym. To compete in a gem cup, you must have enough tokens of the same color. Okay, um... You do not have enough relics to race on this track. Yeah, I thought I'd get um, this little bit out of the way, just show off like, where the gems are. We'll go into them later. Uh, that's going to take one part too, because I'm going to speed that up, but... Um, yeah, they, um, they, it is the battle arena. It's a, it's an extra battle arena that you unlock for getting all of the tokens. And I believe for beating certain races, you get the racetrack that you race on. But it's only later on in the game, unlike the last world, so. Yeah. Um, apparently I left in that load screen, but oh well. 
Now we're going to be fighting Emperor Velo himself. I will say I'm only going to show the good guy cutscenes first, and then once we've um, finished racing against him, you're going to have a bunch of cutscenes thrown at you. So, yeah. <laughs> Here we are now, we go into this beam of light, you jump down like a warp, and we choose your character. And we're going to be facing Emperor Velo himself. I'm going to be playing as Crash Bandicoot because he's the main character, but I couldn't decide, so it's going to take me a couple of seconds, but don't worry, I will do it eventually. Now. It seems that I did not give you enough credit, yes? I won't make that mistake again. You savages will learn fear, just as millions have before you. <laughs> I have to say, I love that laugh that Velo does. That opening sequence, that, that whole car scene there, reminds me so much of um, the pod races from Star Wars Episode 1. Which, I quite like that, because I quite like the pod racing bit in Star Wars Episode 1. Either way, we're fighting, uh, well, r driving against Emperor Velo, the 27th. Now, Emperor Velo, 27th, you should fight as Velo, is an extra extraterrestrial emperor of an unnamed empire and a fanatic racer and egotist combined who serves as the main antagonist of this game. He speaks uh, about himself as the most accomplished racer in the entire galaxy. However, this is deflected through his defeat against- Wait, no! That's spoilers! We can't see- They can't say that we beat him? No! We totally lose this race, guys, trust me! Um... Ah, apparently this Japanese voice actor has two voices. Huh. Uh, um... <laughs> uh, yeah... I'm not going to read through too much of this because it might have some spoilers and I don't really want to go into spoiler territory. Um, and I mean like read aloud. I already know the spoilers. Obviously. <laughs> now, this um, racetrack run called Hyperspace Way. Before we actually go and talk about it, I just want to say fuck this boss. Um, yeah, this boss is hard. Like literally... It's not even cheap hard because of the fact that, like, say with Oxide, he spammed everything. It's not even that. It's just the fact that he's just so bloody fast. If you don't catch... If you're not in, like, the same... Um, like, if you're not in a close distance to him on your first lap, then you've lost the whole race. There's no way you're catching up. And something I find kind of funny is there's two little minions that have that, that drive around with him. I've had numerous amounts of times where they were the ones in the lead. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, okay, you're the fastest racer ever, yeah. Um, your little minion dude that's supposed to be behind you is kind of beating you, man. <laughs> kind of come off as a little bit less threatening, and fre threatening uh, when you see that. Uh, trivia, there is no map shown for this level, as you can see. You just have a little speed meter. Um, but there is a map shown before choosing a track in a mode other than adventure. So you can see the map, but you can't do it in adventure mode. Falling off the track just before the first portal will make the, r the racer be carried onto the track ahead of the other races. Falling off the track just before the first portal will make the racer be carried. Why didn't I know about this? Wait, what? So if you fall off the track right before the first portal, you'll get put ahead of the other racers. I mean, I noticed the um the, the first and second place thing glitches out quite a lot, but I didn't know that. What? Oh, well. Uh, yeah, um... This track, uh, basically you got um, all, four, all three characters both lay down um, items. Uh, Velo's being the most annoying because he always gets the right item whenever he needs it. Like when you're driving right behind him and you're just about to catch up, all of a sudden he'll randomly get a bomb and he'll throw it backwards and look, he'll hit you in an angle that nobody else would ever be able to hit you in. And it's really annoying. Also one thing though, I really like these little ramp sections because you build so much air and it's just so cool jumping off. See right there, what the hell? 
How is anybody supposed to hit you perfectly from that? It's like he has homing bombs. I don't, I don't know. It just irritates me so much because... At least with Oxide, he just spammed stuff. He wasn't all that hard aside from the fact that he spammed stuff. Velo is just a cheating bastard. He like... I don't know. He like puts a bomb on the end of your extreme gear and detonates it before the finish line. Okay, yeah, that was a bad reference. Um, <laughs> but still, you get what I mean? He's annoying. I don't like him. All he does is throw these bombs and they always manage to hit me. And whenever I get ahead of him, guess what item he gets? Oh, a missile. You know, if that was me, I'd get a TNT or something. Just because I'm unlucky with this game. There's items on this boss. Ow, my face. And see, right there, I get a missile when I shoot at him. But no, missile wants to blow up the wall because he doesn't like his... Oh, I don't know. Either way, I guess with that rocket, we're not going to be able to rocket our way too fast. But I don't mean to burst your, uh, your bubble, but we're going to come first anyway. Although I'm kind of thinking how we come first, because I'm in second place at the moment, unless I get really lucky. Yeah, I think I'm going to get really lucky. <laughs> Something I noticed quite a lot of that last section there, it's so buggy that Velo always gets electrocuted in that section. When I was playing his engine, every time we got to that bit, he electrocuted. He got, he just got electrocuted up, up the ass, and just like, damn. <laughs> but yeah, we beat Velo. Totally the fastest racer alive, guys. We totally won that. So yeah, just stinking the victory. Oi! bashing into the back of my car. Congratulations, you have won the Galaxy Circuit, and you put on quite a show. Am I right, everyone? You are now free to go. Great, send us home. Well, you mean Earth? But now I have to destroy Earth. Since you no longer want to race, you can't go back there. I thought I was pretty clear about that. That's not fair. What do you mean? You're free to go. We're not going anywhere. We'll keep racing if that's what it takes. A rematch? How exciting. But there are rules to follow. You first need to earn all my time relics. Then we can race for the fate of your Earth. So yeah, um, before we go on to the bad guy cutscenes, uh, just, yeah, he uh, is a bit of a dick. Couldn't take the fact that he lost, so apparently we need to collect all these shit. Uh, I guess it's a decent excuse to pat the game out. Not really. But, um, yeah, the first game did it, so, you know, why not just copy it? On the bright side, though, there's less tracks. Yeah, uh, that was my phone. <laughs> um, but, yeah, uh, I'll see you guys next part. We're going to start off with the, to <laughs> the Crash Nitro Kart um, tokens. By doing the CNK challenges. That'll be one part. Then we're going to do time trials. Which will be like however long that'll take. And then we're going to end it off with the gems. And then once we've done that. We're going to go on to the final boss. Um, I'm not sure if like you get the best ending. By only getting the tokens. I mean, by only getting the relics. So. Because uh, I, what I usually do is. I usually just go for 100%. After I've done all this. And then just go and fight him. Or race him. I'm pretty sure if I went and beat him on um, with all the relics, you'll probably say, Oh, uh, but you haven't collected all my uh, gems. Yes, uh, quick, make some gems. Uh, yes. <laughs> you know, so. Yeah, pro it'll probably just say something like, get all my gems. So, either way, enjoy the bad guy cutscenes, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. It seems that I did not give you enough credit, yes? I won't make that mistake again. You savages will learn fear. 
just as millions have before you. <laughs> Congratulations, you have won the Galaxy Circuit, and you put on quite a show. Am I right, everyone? You are now free to go. Good, good. Now whip up that vortex of yours and send us back to Earth. What? But now I have to destroy Earth. Since you no longer want to race, you can't go back there. I thought I was pretty clear about that. Huh? Tiny doesn't get it. I do. Big Emperor Velo can't stand the fact he lost. Are you certain of that? A rematch then? Ha! Nothing to it. But there are rules to follow. You first need to earn all my time relics. Then we can race for the fate of your Earth. 